This your African king of comedy, Michael Blackson. You watch it real fast, real talk. Get real with it, my son. Knicks and Nets, both in the news for different reasons. Not bad reasons, but things going on with the roster. The Nets have been playing some good ball. KD, to me, looks like the MVP of the league, but he's going to lose one of his best shooters. Joe Harris is out right now with an ankle injury. They're saying 48, four to eight weeks, but there's possibility he could come back sooner. Crosstown, the Knicks coming off a big win in Atlanta, but then news came out today that Tibbs is saying, look, Kemba's struggling, and not only will he not be starting, he's out of the rotation now. What do we make of both these situations for two teams that have playoff aspirations? And for Brooklyn, they have title aspirations. For for Brooklyn, I'm you know, I'm not really too concerned um about Joe Harris being out for a month. They're in first place right now, and they got Kevin Durant playing like Kevin Durant, uh playing like the MVP of this league. Obviously, you know, I'd like to see James Harden back up to, you know, to maybe 25, 26 a game. But if you're in first place, what can I really say? You're doing what you're supposed to do. You have the number one seed. You have home court advantage. The playoffs started right now. You'd have home court advantage throughout. You know what I mean? So what can I really say, you know, about that? He's he's facilitating more, uh, trying to run the offense, you know? So if he's not scoring as much and they're winning, hey, it is what it is. If, if they start losing, start dipping and dropping in the standings, then we'll have we'll revisit that conversation, but I can't knock the, I can't knock the hustle if, if the Nets are in first place. Uh, as far as the Knicks go, uh, and Kemba, I mean they got they got him for the, they got him for the low. So you know it's not like you know they paying him thirty three million a year or something like that, and he's not playing you know up to living up to expectations. Um, I don't know why he's struggling. I can't call it. Um, I want it, I want Kimber to do well in New York just because he's from here. You know what I mean? So I want him to do well, but I mean, damn, the fact that he's out of the rotation, that that does not sit well with me at all. Um, you know, I know guy other guys are stepping up, but I just thought Kimber would, would be better than this. I don't I don't know is, is something going on, you know, mentally or, or whatever, or phys- whatever it is, physically. I I hope he gets it together because you know, not starting is one thing, but when you talk about he's out of the rotation, and this is a guy who three years ago was was all NBA, uh, you know, third team, but you know, most of the league won't will go most of the NBA players, period, go careers without making any all NBA team. So the fact that he was able to accomplish that, you know, with Charlotte speaks volumes on his potential. But if you are out of that rotation right now, that is not a good sign. And he's going to have to figure out what's going on. They're going to have to get some type of help in there because he's in reality, Kimba should probably be the best player on that team. I'm saying Derek Rose on this obviously will be better, but I'm saying just right now coming from where we, where we are, you know, him, him being all NBA right before coming to the Knicks and whatnot, the caliber player, he should probably be their best player. I think if if we were talking that, Kemba from three years ago that was on an all NBA team. Yeah. But you know, the injuries in Boston have started to add up a little bit and it's, and it's carried over because he's missed a couple games with the Knicks where they kind of giving him rest uh, for the, for the knee. But I think the bigger issue here is his lack of commitment on the defensive end. And that's why I I respect Tibbs' decision. I love Kemba Walker. I was excited to get him a hometown kid coming back. We know what he can do. He's a guy who's not afraid of the moment. We knew playing in New York would not be too big for him. But just looking at the numbers, I I can see why Tibbs feels this way. And I think Kemba will work his way back into the rotation. As as you highlighted, there's too much talent in that guy to not play basketball. Like, there's no way you're going to tell me that there's nine guys, 10 guys on the Nick roster who are better than Kemba Walker. He's going to find a way on the court. The real issue is, or the real question is, will he make a commitment to defense? offensively he's having the worst year of his career he's only averaging 11 points a game and I'm not too surprised because the offense runs through Julius Randle you added Evan Fournier RJ Barrett got to get his shots Emmanuel quickly got to get his shots Obi Toppin has been a pleasant surprise coming off the bench he's got to get his shots so you expect Derrick Rose Derrick Rose right so you expect all right Kimba's not going to get 15 shots a night it's going to it's going to be down a little bit but the thing that really stuck out to me was the per 100 possession over 36 minutes numbers. 
this starting lineup with Kemba Walker, they're getting outscored by 15 points a game per 100 possessions. Mm. Any lineup with Kemba Walker included in it, even if it's not just starters, even if it's Kemba in the bench, they're getting outscored by 11 points. But every other lineup that does not include Kemba Walker is a plus. They beat Atlanta uh, the other night. Kemba didn't play at all. And that might have been one of their best defensive efforts of the year. I think they held Atlanta to 92 points in that game. Yeah. So I think that's why Tibbs came to this conclusion. I think he looked at it and said, as much talent as there is in Kemba Walker, he has become such a liability defensively that it's affecting everything else we do. Because this that's Tibbs' meat and potatoes. His yeah. foundation is built on the defense. This Nick team was able to become a fourth seed last year by playing really good defense and then finding ways to score on the offensive end. They they haven't been able to do that because Kemba has become such a liability and Kemba's got to make that commitment there. I think if Kemba makes a commitment and says, look, I'm willing to be a tougher defensive player, especially at the top of the key and give us some opportunities, then all right, you'll get back in the rotation. But it's hard for me to give you minutes when we've got Derrick Rose, we've got Emmanuel Qu Quickly, we got Alec Burks, we got RJ Barrett, we got Evan Fournier. I just gave you five guards that are on our team that can all shoot the ball as well as play some decent defense. Kemba Walker's got to play better defensively. Yeah, and, you know, what happens is, it's one thing if we get in the, uh, the Kemba Walker that's, that's averaging 20-plus points a game and not playing defense. It's a whole other thing when you're only giving us 11 points and you're not playing defense, then it's like, all right, bro, something, something got to give. We need to, you know, sit you down for a second, rework this whole situation and figure out where we go because we're going to have to start making that playoff push soon. So if that means sitting him right now to get it through his head, like, listen, bro, you got to step your game up on the defensive end as well. I'll, I'll accept the 11 points a game, even though I would, I'm expecting more from you, but I'll still accept that if you're playing defense and you're actually helping us win basketball games right now, you're not doing that. I need you to sit down and figure this thing out. And then hopefully, by, you know, all-star, you know, break, he'll, he'll be ready to get back into the starting lineup. Yeah. And I don't think they're, they're looking to trade him. I, I heard some people saying that, like, could he be a uh, trade bait? I don't think that's where they're going with it. I think Tibbs is trying to inspire him. As you mentioned, if you're only giving us 11 on offense, okay, but you got to be better on defense. It, we can't have it both ways. You can't be having a, a career low offensively and still struggling defensively because there are other guys who I can give these minutes to who can give us more.